Hey there! Have you ever tasted the world-famous Tirupati Ladu? This sweet treat is not just a delicious dessert, but also carries a rich history and an incredible legacy. Let me take you through the fascinating story of this iconic ladu. History of the Ladu Did you know the Tirupati Ladu dates back over 300 years? That's right! It all started on August 2nd, 1715. The Ladu, in its early form, was called Manoharam, a loose sweet that has since evolved into the Tirupati Ladu we know today. But this isn't just any sweet. This Ladu is prepared inside the sacred kitchen of the Tirumala Temple, known as Ladu Potu. Ladu Potu and Preparation Inside the Ladu Potu, more than 600 people, including skilled cooks called Pachakas, work hard every day to prepare this divine sweet. The process? It's a mix of tradition, devotion, and expertise. From the regular Proktham Ladu to the special Asthanam Ladu, which is made during festivals, each version is crafted with care. GI Tag Here's something interesting. In 2008, the Tirumala Tirupati Devastanams TTD, took a major step to prevent black marketing of their sacred lattice. They applied for a geographical indication tag, which was officially granted in 2009. This means that no one else in the world can prepare or sell a sweet called Tirupati Ladu. Commemoration on a postal stamp And in 2017, the India Post even issued a postal stamp to commemorate the Tirupati Ladu as part of their cuisine series. Imagine, a sweet so famous, it's celebrated on a stamp. Ladu production numbers. Here's a number that'll blow your mind. On an average day, the Ladu Potu produces two. Eight lakh lattice? That's 280,000 lattice in a single day. And on festive occasions, this number can go up to a whopping 800,000 lattice. Earnings from Ladus. The Tirupathi Temple roughly earns about 140, 150 karors annually from the sale of Ladus. Ingredients and changes in recipe. Dittum. So, what goes into making this famous ladu? The recipe, or dittum, has evolved six times to meet growing demand. But the core ingredients have always remained the same. Gram flour, sugar, cashew nuts, cardamom, ghee, sugar candy, and raisins. And just to give you an idea, every day they use 10 tons of gram flour, 10 tons of sugar, 700 kilos of cashew nuts, and around 500 liters of ghee to make these heavenly sweets. Mainly, the Tirumala Tirupathi Devastanam has reverted back to the Nandini ghee from Karnataka. After the controversy about the animal fat began, the present ladus are not tainted with animal fat, and you can consume them with joy. Talking about ladu, do you know there is a huge Garuda at the foothill of the Tirumala Temple? And there is an interesting story about that Garuda and the elixir of life. Click here to watch that story.